Germanicus command the duty to penetrate your Whenever a new console is released, you have to have at least one game that turns heads with its visuals. So when it was announced Crytek would make an action game for the launch of the new Xbox, it was pretty obvious Rise would be the showcase of the console's processing power. It's a simple fact that Crytek makes beautiful games, but they've struggled to prove that they can make a quality action game. But it's finally here, and I'm going to give you my verdict. Yeah. Let's not beat around the bush and start with the obvious, Rise Son of Rome is absolutely gorgeous. For too long it was the PC crowd who got the best of what the CryEngine had to offer, and the console players who got the good but not great ports of Crisis. All that changes here, and Rise is easily the best looking game at the Xbox One's launch. The game may not be quite 1080p, but damn it, if you play it, you'll be impressed. The textures and environments are bursting with detail, character models are the best I've ever seen, the frame rate is stable 100% of the time, and the game doesn't feature the aliasing issues present in other launch titles though the load times are a bit lengthy. Crytek brings the pretty as expected, but while the detail is incredible, assets are used over and over, like constantly repeating barbarian models and execution events. Otherwise, this kind of technical feat generally appears a year after a console's launch, but while the game may not have next-gen gameplay, next-gen looks are certainly present, and can best be demonstrated in the game's insane set pieces like a Roman take on Saving Private Ryan's opening sequence. The game is definitely not trying to be historically accurate. The visuals are easily the best thing Rise is going for it, whereas everything else is merely average. Rise attempts to place an emphasis on story, but while I did enjoy seeing it to its conclusion, it's rather cliché. During a barbarian invasion of Rome, centurion Marius Titus recounts his military career to Emperor Nero. The following events recall a basic revenge tale, where Marius witnesses the murder of his parents and subsequently climbs the ranks of the Roman army. There's a lot of talk about honor and glory, but there's really no substance, and the dialogue is a bit silly at times. It's nothing offensive, but it just made me want to see Gladiator for the umpteenth time. Legionaries! Salute your new centurion! The combat of Rise is similarly functional, but not outstanding, lying somewhere in between Arkham Asylum and Assassin's Creed. It's all about breaking the enemy's guard, wearing down their health, and finishing them off with an execution, and repeat the process until everyone is dead. Despite its relative simplicity, it's still pretty fun. Hits have a strong sense of impact, building up a combo is satisfying, and it's brutal to boot. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot of depth or challenge to the combat. You can't mindlessly button mash, but there's not a lot of enemy variety, the slow-mo inducing focus mode is too easy to lean on, and upgrades come so frequently that the normal difficulty is generally a cakewalk. The only times the combat poses a real threat is in its bosses that quickly become tired and slow-paced. But it's the game's executions that have caused the most fuss, to a point that the gameplay reveal looked like one big quick time event. While the game rewards accurate timing, executions aren't much more in depth than, well, a quick time event. In fact, not pressing the correct button doesn't trigger a fail state of any kind. They flow well with the rest of the combat, but they are very automated, which is kind of crazy for being such a large portion of combat, and the animations repeat over and over. There's only so many times you'll be impressed by a barbarian's arm flying off. It's brutal, but it loses its luster. The game tries to break things up with turret sequences and shield formation. They help, but these sequences are too simple and the game overall could use a bit more variety. Rise also has a two-player cooperative mode with an exaggerated take on the Roman Colosseum. In it, you complete various objectives while killing wave after wave of enemies. It also has tons of upgrades and loot that comes in the form of booster packs, right out of Mass Effect 3's co-op. It's a decently fun mode that's surprisingly addictive if you like the game's combat. If only there was local co-op. Rise is the very definition of a launch game. It boasts the hardware's capabilities without being especially remarkable in terms of gameplay. 
The combat is fun, it just lacks any ambition. While Rise is rather enjoyable, it's one of those games that demands a sequel. If Crytek were to improve the narrative and broaden the combat, we could have a successful franchise in our hands.